let's get moving. I was definitely influenced into buying this one, but it's pretty good. I have to do it before I brush my teeth though, or else it low-key kind of burns. He's having weird morning zoomies, but also he just wants attention from me. All right, hey friends, ignore that I kind of look like shit right now. For this morning routine, I really wanted to romanticize the winter season. I'm kind of bummed because literally two days ago it snowed and I'm like, why couldn't that have been today? It would have been perfect for the vibe of this video, but that's okay. I also thought I would give you guys some tips for this winter season. I have lots of tips for dealing with like dry skin Skin, especially from someone who has eczema talking about ways to keep yourself motivated through the winter season because the darkness can be very depressing at times seasonal depression I want to first have a shower just to feel very refreshed this morning. I'm going to use an exfoliant body wash. This way, it will really help with your dry skin, making your skin all nice and smooth and moisturizing after. Usually, I would only moisturize after like shaving my legs, but I'm really trying to do my legs, my arms every time after I have a shower. <laughs> Moisturize. Since we're already on the topic of like moisturizing, a couple more tips are one thing I highly recommend is leaving like a little bottle of hand cream on your bedside table. That way before you go to bed, just put some hand cream on and then you wake up with nice and soft hands. Especially if you're someone who doesn't like the feeling of hand cream, like especially on your palm. This is a great way to still get your hands all moisturized because then you're asleep while it's on so it's not gonna bug you. Another thing, Instead of going for like pedicures all the time, what you can also do before bed is, it sounds gross, but if you like put moisturizer on your feet and then put like socks over top, which is also controversial. Not everyone sleeps with socks on, but you put moisturizer on and then sleep with socks on, your feet will be all smooth and not all dry and gross because no one wants gross feet. I want to go put on a cute little PJ set and some fuzzy socks right now. One of my favorite things about the winter is getting to wear fuzzy socks all the time. For the sake of the video, I had to put my hair in a little bow. So I just did a messy half up, half down. I'm just wearing this two-piece set from Amazon. It's actually really comfortable. And then I'm wearing these super long reading socks. I'm starting to get hungry. So let's go downstairs and make some hot chocolate. Got some whipped cream for this. And then I have no idea what I'm going to eat. some scrambled eggs with hot sauce which is one of my like new addictions at the moment but I'm not feeling too hot this morning like I feel like I'm getting sick but not I am not getting sick I am perfectly fine and I'm healthy I'm not going to be sick what I think I'm gonna do is I'm on Disney Plus and they have like sections where you can watch Christmas episodes from different shows I think I'm gonna watch some like Christmas episode right now Time for some skincare. While I was watching a little bit of my show, I was looking up some kind of tips for winter on Pinterest. One thing I kept seeing was making sure that you're still using SPF in the winter time. It's honestly something you should be using all year round for your skin, but I feel like in the winter we forget. I feel like this season is also a really good time to get into some hobbies. I feel like in the winter it's 
dark. We spent a lot more time just chilling at home. And don't get me wrong, this is totally the season to like curl up with like your fireplace if you have one, a warm hot chocolate or coffee or tea and watch some Christmas movies. But this is also a good time to do other things that aren't scrolling on your phone or just looking at a TV screen. Some hobbies that I think would be really good for the winter are learning how to crochet, coloring or painting because you can do that with like a candle going, maybe listening to a podcast or some music while you do that. You can even make your own candles. I've been seeing people do that or like candle painting looks really fun. Reading a book by the fireplace, which I think I'm actually gonna do in a little bit here. You could also go ice skating for something to do for going out. Build snowmen, make gingerbread houses. I guess those aren't really hobbies so much, but those are just kind of fun things you can do this season. I know that this time it can be really hard to keep yourself motivated. One thing, I do that helps a lot which I actually did not do today is doing like little workouts in the morning like first thing when you wake up and I know it's usually dark and cold and the last thing you want to do is put on like a workout outfit and exercise but honestly once you do you're gonna feel so much better and you don't have to do an intense workout I love doing just like five minute chill workouts again I mentioned this in one of my previous previous videos, this vitamin C plus E super glow serum has been helping my skin so much and I don't think it was very expensive because it is just the Sephora brand. If you are looking for a new product, that one, go get it. Shoot, I got oil on my shirt. I'm gonna do these Thirsty Hands Super Hydrating Hand Mask. I've done one of these before and it feels so weird. These feel just so weird and kind of slimy. All right, I had them on for like 10, 15 minutes. I'm just gonna rub my hands together. But like, look how like nice and smooth my hands look. My face is all greasy from the moisturizer I put on. I'm gonna spend some time doing some reading. I really wanna read my 101 essays that will change the way you think because I have only read a little bit of this and it's been a long time since I've read this book. In my Christmas decorating video, I put on this cozy Christmas jazz playlist and I actually really liked it. So I'm gonna put that on again while I read. I also got my fireplace on so it's nice and cozy in my room. And I just love the look of fireplaces in our apartment I would sit in the living room and put like the fireplace on Netflix while I would read but now I have like a proper one but instead of watching TV or scrolling through my phone which is what I've been doing a lot of recently I'm trying to get myself to read seriously recommend getting this book. There are a lot of really great things said in here. I think I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope some of the winter tips I gave for this season are helpful and you guys use them. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I think my goal was to reach five hundred subscribers by the end of the year and I'm over 400 so we're getting there and please give a thumbs up leave a comment and I'll see you all next time bye